Today's tour is gonna be a pretty classic spring ski tour, or at least that's what we're trying to get. It is blue skies right now. It's already really warm. I think it's like 36 degrees. So touring in the spring is a lot different than touring in the winter, just because the objective hazards do change pretty considerably. And uh, just the way you have to think about and plan your day changes a lot. So in the winter, you're most of the time looking for a fresh pow, cold, stable pow. Um, and your primary hazards are things like slab avalanches, and you're always touring in the cold. You're, you're always gonna be on a skin track. However, in the spring, getting to your objective might be a bit of a more interesting adventure. The snow's a lot softer, so you might be post holing We will probably be hiking our skis over some dirt, some rocks, some exposure, um, just because this time of year, a lot of this road is gonna be melted out. The other really important part about spring skiing is that you're often not really looking for pow. If you are, that's great, but more often than not, you're trying to time the corn cycle right. So what we're trying to do today is time our ascent correctly <laughs> so that when we are skiing down, we are getting it in uh, primo corn conditions, but it's not too wet and soft that wet avalanches become a problem. So there is this sort of awkward, delicate balance of spring skiing that makes it really hard to time the day. Um, we are here a bit early, so we may be waiting on the summit for a little bit, waiting for it to soften up. But, you know, I think we will probably, like most spring tours, be dealing with a, a situation in which we're skiing down, we get some really good corn, and then the bottom run out is gonna be muddy, shitty, wet, just, it's gonna be sort of a sloggy run out. Um, that's what happens when you, when you tour in the spring. I mean, it's June and we're skiing, so can't really complain. You could bide. Pretty good hike. In the heat. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Feeling hot. The spring is a super cool time to be skiing in Colorado because you get stuff like that waterfall behind me just because there's so much snow melt going on. Like that's not happening later in the um, later in the summer and it's obviously not happening in the winter either. So you, the terrain and the sort of scenery really changes this time of year. Like if you look up in that gully up there in the winter when we ski this, that gully is in play. Like you can ski that out and it's actually a really fun sort of section of this ski. But you can see right now it's totally exposed with rocks and chunder and I don't even think it looks like it connects right now. So something you have to think about in the spring a lot is A, snow cover, is there gonna be enough snow? And B, if there is snow, how deep is that snow? Are there rocks under it? Just because rocks are a big concern this time of year, both under the snow and falling on top of you. So we'll be booting up the couloir in a little bit and you don't wanna be late on those just because the sun will heat up the rocks and um, the rocks will start sort of raining down the couloir. So you do have to be a bit careful this time of year. It's just a different objective hazard than in the winter. We made it to the bottom of the Kawars. It took us a lot longer than we thought. We had to transition 10 to 15 times going over streams, mud, rocks, scrambling. So um, we are a bit later than we thought we were gonna be, which means it's the snow is hotter. Um, I'm not quite sinking to my boot tops, but we can feel it down here starting to get pretty, uh, pretty wet. So we're gonna try to get this boot pack as quick as we can and get this line in the bag and then get home safely before we both um, overheat and die. <laughs> We're about halfway up right now and we are turning around. The snow conditions have deteriorated really, really quickly um, on this boot pack we just set in. We were sinking close to our knees on the way up here. So um, that is an indication to us that the snow is way too hot. There's wet slide debris all over the place. You can sort of see it all around here. Um, so with the wet slide hazard and the rock fall hazard, it's just, we're here too late. So we're gonna turn around now. And sometimes this happens, you know, sometimes the mountains just tell you to turn around, so you gotta do it. So we're gonna get the hell out of here and probably slog our way back to the car. It's probably gonna take us a long time because we do have a very flat exit followed by mud and hiking and exposed streams and things like that. But still a good day in the Alpine. We got out here, we're in a beautiful space. We're at like 13,500 feet, so no complaints.
We are mostly done. Um, it's hard to put into words what we just did in the past few hours. Um, we basically had a full on half day slog fest to get out of there. The entire bottom of that run was wet, post holy, muddy, slippery rocks. Whoa. We both fell, yeah, I don't know how many it. times, but that's what it is, right? I mean, when I think of ski touring, I often think of days like this, rather than like blower pow days in the winter. I think getting out in the Alpine in the spring and romping around and getting lost a little bit is just really what ski touring is about, at least for me. Based on the day that we just had, I think we're, this is probably the last ski day we're gonna have for the year. So um, I would probably consider this the end of the season for this year. So we would like to come out with some spring content as well as some content for next winter. So if you guys have any ideas, um, feel free to shoot me an email, leave in the comments, whatever. We would really appreciate sort of hearing from you guys and what you wanna see, just because that is why we're doing this uh, whole series. So, you know, it's fun for us, but it's really fun for us to get to show it to you and show you what our lives are like here in Colorado. So um, feel free to shoot us a message.